Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's Corner. Rene, you my sir. Guys, it get, it get one video when I don't see. When I see this video, I don't resume that video so, like several days. Not be, not be only one day I don't see that video. Not be only two days, not be only three days. But when I see this video, I they take time, they process them. But I don't still understand what that they mean. <laughs> Because for, for some of them, I'm go listen to this video and I go tell me what this thing mean. <laughs> a whole president, a whole president of Nigeria, a whole president too, they tell me, say, if he finish in ten, he go run. He go run, come up for the country, go in jail, go stay. Jesus. Jesus. A country when you rule for eight years, you say, when you finish ruling us, when you finish, I don't know what I rule, not the rule, I've been a governor, you go wrong, come up for the country. If the country no agree, you stay. So if the country no give you peace to stay for the country, then you go wrong, go Niger. No wonder you give how many billion dollars to, to Niger. Now I understand why. Mm -hmm. Make I carry my chair, come forward. There's no how somebody, somebody to go to do something without ulterior motive. Yes, yes. You carry how many billion, how many billions of US dollars give Niger? Niger people, I mean, how many millions of US dollars give Niger people? I can't say, what did consign, consign Buhari with the Niger people? What did consign Buhari? Nobody agree answer me when I make that video. Eh? Now, now the truth don't come out. Now, now, when you finish, when you finish your tenure, you go run. Go, go Niger, go stay. So, if the country, when you rule, or when you lead, or when you, anyone, when you do, for complete eight years, if it's too good, where you they run, go? <laughs> It, no, they ask you a question. The country when you rule, when you rule for eight good years, if it too good, if it too make sense, why would you go to Niger or another man's country go stay? It don't make sense. You don't you don't see and say, well, I don't come. <laughs> so you don't they even you don't they oh what which kind of problem with this one? You don't they even think I'm you don't you don't even think I'm saying you want when you come up for power, you go wrong, come up for the country when you rule. The, when I when I listen to that news, it took me it took me like four days to process it. Four good days. I they think I'm if I think, I don't know how I want to shoot this video. Because what are they here for this country? You see things, when are they here for this country? I know they hear them for any any other place. Imagine somebody like, uh, what did they call him? Obama, Barack Obama. As he rule, as he rule America finish. He rule America finish, then he say, oh no, he no one stay for America again. He won't go to stay for Canada. <laughs> no, yo, use your brain, process them now. Just, just process it. Barack Obama finished in tenor for eight years for America. He said, no, if American people no go give, give them peace again, may Kukuma, may Kukuma go, go, go to Canada. Can, you, you go, can you, are you able to tell me that the ruling when you rule, rule, rule that country makes sense? <laughs> ah, Buare, Buare, what Buare cannot destroy does not exist. <laughs> What what worry cannot destroy does not exist. You have a few days to go, and you are telling us you want you want to leave us. Leave us leave, leave us for where? Leave this. I be you not be from Nigeria originally. And what are what are you what what are you what are you assinuating here? Are you te, no, even even we when be saying abroad then we do for for here we go talk say we go run come up for Nigeria. Not be our country again. You went down lead in Nigeria as president. You know what they call president for eight years. You say you want run come out. Leave us. <laughs> I know that Nigeria people say they go leave them behind. <laughs> they never live on now. Buari don't live on now. You have been left behind. <laughs> for those who never hear Buari, they talk that thing. <laughs> say one wrong come up for Nigeria after I don't after I don't drop in presidential in presidential <laughs> position. Say you don't run, leave on now. All right now. What video? Now President Muhammad Buari's decision to retire and relocate to Nigeria Republic has met with an avalanche of criticism. Wari said he will leave the country for neighboring Niger Republic if his retirement is disturbed at his hometown in Daura, Kassina State. Wari stated this during a banquet organized for him by the Federal Capital Territory residents led by the minister, Mohamed Bello, during, at, during a Salah celebration now. Hamad Bello, he also thanked Nigerians for tolerating him. The president said he is from the extreme corner of Nigeria, Dara in Kassina State, which is just eight kilometers from the Niger Republic. Chairman Middle Belt Forum, Dr. Petrus Pogus, joins us to react to the Buari statement on retiring to Niger Republic. We want to say thank you very much for joining us today. First of all, um, just to open up the discussions here today, um, what do you make of this news? Do you think People are just making a mountain out of a molehill by saying that Buari decided to retire to Niger Republic is a big deal. Uh, 
Oh, it's a big deal. Uh, I mean, the first citizen of Nigeria who would have served Nigeria for eight years, given the best kind of protection, being the president, uh, somebody in Nigeria has invested in, uh, to say after retirement or after leaving office, if uh, people should uh, disturb him, he will relocate. It's, it's very sad. It meant that uh, he was never committed to this country in the first place. Otherwise, uh, this is a person who is supposed to uh, stick it out, even if this country is burning, after he leaves office and be a statesman and uh, uh, ensure that the country survives. Not to think of himself and uh, to feel just because uh, people might, might, disturb him, then he can, he would relocate. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know what he was thinking about when he made that statement, but uh, it's very sad that uh, Mr. President made that statement. And uh, uh, it should serve, what the response should serve by all others, not only myself, uh, should serve as a warning to any other leader that you are here as a Nigerian leader to serve Nigeria, whether in office or out of office, and not to shy away or run away when things get tough on you as an individual. So uh, it's unfortunate that statement was made, and uh, we pray that uh, if it was made in error, uh, he should come out and say, tell Nigerians, look, he was uh, joking, but it was, if it was even a joke, uh, it's a joke that went too far. Uh, Nigeria uh, is a country, and Nigerians have vested so much in President Buhari by electing him into office as president and giving him all the privileges that a president deserves. And when he leaves office, he should remember and continue to serve Nigeria, not to run away just because of pressures. Beatrice, a lot of Nigerians believe, and you even said it, that that statement means that he's not been committed, you know, to serve in Nigeria, that he's distant from reality. But at the same time, too, I would also like us to point out that it's the president has been saying it for a while, that he's tired and that he's actually looking forward to retirement. So I'm wondering if there's any lesson we can learn from here. When a president is tired, is it compulsory that the president stays into power until the handover date? When a president is tired, shouldn't the president retire instead of, you know, putting us, putting the con country through hardship and unnecessary stress, and then at the end of the day talks about running away from the country if he's been disturbed? It's correct. If uh, he had uh, known that he's, he, he was tired, ab initio, he should have retired even before now. Uh, but the issue here is not just being tired or being unhealthy or whatever it is. It's a question of commitment. Here you are as a president, somebody who has served this country for eight good years, uh, who will retire from uh, service just a few days from now, because today we are marking the first day of May. And for him to make such a statement, it's just that to say that, yes, uh, gentlemen, um, I served you, but uh, all along, uh, you are not my priority. Uh, when I leave, uh, if you continue putting pressure on me, I'll go to where uh, my priority has always been. That's the kind of statement. And, and it's unfortunate that we need to forget about sentiments in this country and uh, vest our, I mean, I mean invest uh, our polls or our, our, our votes on people who we believe would be so committed to this country, whether in office or not. And uh, it, it raises so many questions. Uh, just as you noted, that uh, if somebody is tired, he should retire. In Nigeria, people don't want to retire. They want to be pushed out of office. But uh, we should have people who are really committed to this country, serving as leaders. And when they know that they lack capacity in whichever way, they should come out boldly and say, fellow Nigerians, 
uh, I feel and I believe that I lack capacity to continue as president and I'm withdrawing to allow somebody more competent to continue. Um, even some of the contestants we have now, some of them look tired, look haggard. Um, but all the same, uh, it looks like everybody wants a job, job of being a president, president of Nigeria, one of the most pro powerful presidents in this country, providing, pro I mean, provided by our, our constitution, because our constitution vests so much in the president that he can do and undo. So I think something needs to be done so that we can have a better country. Uh, right. And then our institutions have to be also uh, strengthened to be able to create the right checks and balances for this country to run well. All right, Dr. Beatrice Fogos, I want to say thank you very much for your time here on News. I don't see the video. No, tell me who does that. Hmm? No, 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 no. Tell me who does that? Nah, the action. <laughs> which president in the world? Which president? Even you see, you see, you see Gaddafi. Even Gaddafi, when he was the president of Libya, even that said the one that said they won't buy him, they want. He said no, I can never leave Libya. <laughs> Libya is my country, is my home. <laughs> Instead, I will buy here. <laughs> He said, I will never leave Libya. Libya is my life. Libya is everything. Instead, I will buy here. My, 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 my Gaddafi talk. But this one, nobody they threaten no more. Nobody they. He said, because anybody won't give him inconveniences and hardship, he don't run live no. Buare, buare. Buare, this guy no funny now. No, this guy, is he no more comedian than I am? No, no. I, 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 no, this guy is no, is he no more comedian that, 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 than I am? <laughs> Imagine myself. <laughs> Imagine myself being the head of my family as a father. And they tell my children, say, if you're not worrying me now more than this, I go wrong, come off of this house, go my neighbor, neighbor house, go they stay. <laughs> what a shame. What a statement. What, when I listen to this video, I say it took me four to five days. I did process them. Because before I come shoot this video, I did like process them. I did like make, make I check whether they make sense. If you know the I know they come present this one that make sense here. <laughs> this one, this one, when Buare talk, hi. I don't, I don't know how to express them. But guys, I don't want to talk too much. If you love what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I'm on TikTok. All I'm up. I'm going to love you guys. Peace out.